When I was a kid, I loved playing with Lego bricks. But for most kids, this meant building streets and sets and cars. But for me, it meant building stories. My Lego figurines were my characters to my stories. The sets were the backdrops to my stories. I loved telling stories with my Lego bricks. But my most favorite story of all was my story of Clay and Chris. They were super cops that could do anything, like ride their motorcycle up the side of a wall. They were awesome. They could do all these awesome stunts and follow the sky and land on a bad guy and be totally fine. They were like Jason Bourne, James Bond, Dirty Harry, Ethan Hunt, before I even knew who those guys were. And uh, that's who I got to have as my heroes as a kid. The guy I played was uh, Clay. And you could always tell it was Clay because he had a blue hat. And then the, the character that my sister played, my little sister, she played Chris, and he, had a, he always had a red hat on. They also had a pet monkey that they called White Sock, and they could actually talk to him. That's how awesome these guys were. For most people, when you think about Lego, you think about building stuff. But to me, they were bricks that I built stories with, and I built characters with. I had tragedy in my stories. I had romance in my stories. I had excitement in my stories. That was my childhood. Fast forward to when I was in college. It was my freshman year, and it was up to me at that point to decide what I was going to do with the rest of my life. I had to choose a major. I had to choose a career. My friends were choosing the safe bet of a business degree in accounting or finance, or they're going to go be a doctor. But for me, there was only one obvious choice. And it was because of Clay and Chris that this choice was so obvious. For me, I wanted to be a storyteller. Thanks to Lego, I'd been telling stories my whole life. I'd been practicing, rehearsing, gaining experience, and directing stories. People say that to be an expert at something, you have to do it for 10,000 hours or more. Without even knowing it, as a child, I clocked in my 10,000 hours as a storyteller before I ever even turned 16. With Lego, they say you can build anything you can imagine. For me, I built my dreams. I'm Ryan Simmons, and I'm a filmmaker. It's a Lego thing.